Uh, good day everyone, I'm Janine Bulawan and I'm your lecturer for this topic. The topic for now is the crops improvement and seeds selection, especially in the topics for distribution and conservation of the germplasms. So what is plant breeding? So it is the science, the art, and business of crop improvement for human benefit. It improves the quality, not only the quantity, but uh, also it disease and insect resistance, change in maturity duration, agronomic characteristics, photosensitivity, synchronous maturity, non-shattering characteristics, and others. So, um, plant breeding will not be done without the plant breeders. So for the distribution, we have the classes of seeds. We have breeder seeds, the foundation seeds, the registered seeds, the certified seeds, and the good seeds. So let's identify the five ones. First, we have breeder seeds. It is controlled by the originating plant breeder, a starting point of all the subsequent classes of seeds and seeds obtained from the uniform panicles by the breeders so it is 100 percent pure seeds so the tag for these breeder seeds are white okay second is foundation seeds seeds produced from the breeder seeds and source of registered and or certified seeds and the tag for this one is color red the third one is the registered seeds there are seeds produced from the foundation or registered seeds and carry a green tag so um, the color of the tag will be green so fourth one is the certified seeds seeds produced from foundation registered or certified seeds and the tag color is blue. All good seeds are produced from varieties and not yet approved by the NSIC or the National Seed Industry Council. So the five type of seeds as being produced by the government and the private sectors or the private organizations. So now let's go to the germplasm or the conservation of the germplasm. Germplasm, it is the sum total of hereditary material or genes present in a species and is living tissues from which new plants can be grown and it can be a seed or another plant part. So we have the leaf, of course, a piece of stem, a pollen or even just a few cells that can be turned into a whole plant so it is like a plant tissue culture the marrow stems or the tissues which can be created to another plant so germplasm contains the information for a species a genetic makeup a valuable natural resource of plant diversity So now we have plant germplasm, genetic source material used by plant breeders to develop new cultivars. So we must need um, greater characteristics of some plants before they will breed it to achieve their uh, specific or wanted type of variety. So for the germplasm storage, we have first, we have as seeds in cold or refrigerated, refrigerated rooms being stored in a cold, dry room. Seconds are maintained as living plants in field or through slow growth in, uh, gr slow growth in vitro, which are, the, which are the plant tissue cultures. We have flowers, we have fruits like banana, pineapple, and even some potato. And also the flowers like bromeliad, anthurium, and 
our kids. So third one is cryopreservation or the or the freeze preservation. So we know that uh, the process of cryopreservation it is to freeze the the certain seeds and then thaw it when it is uh, ready to use. So we have now here. Uh, you know you have already seen the picture or the cycle uh, after freezing it will now have uh, undergone thawing after thawing you need to plant already the certain meristems or tissues of certain plants to produce another plant And that's all for today. Thank you. If you have any questions or queries, please email me at my uh, email address, jbulawan at asket.edu.ph. Thank you and God bless.